We started with the driver monitoring application where we're looking at just the driver. The primary uh, application is distraction, drowsiness detection, but then when we go to a wider field of view camera, we can see the entire interior of the cabin. We're looking to understand what's going on inside the car. OEMs are starting to understand that it's not just about the driver, but it has to be about the entire cabin. The camera can be used for additional purposes. We are now able to support features such as seat occupancy classification, seat belt misuse detection, body key points tracking uh, to enable a good handover and takeover scenario or dri driver takeover readiness. In the future, we are also looking at uh, supporting additional monetizable features such as gesture recognition or even video call or, uh, or, or a selfie on demand. Interior exterior fusion is just simply taking the information we have of what's going on outside the car, putting that together with the information we have inside the car. What's the driver doing? Are they talking to a passenger? Are they really paying attention to the driving task? And then we can alert them to what's going on outside the car that they may not see. Imagine that you are at an intersection and then you are about to take a right turn, but you're distracted from the left side. In this case, the vehicle will be able to maneuver itself or even brake when you are not looking in the right direction. The technology stack is composed of a lot of elements. It starts typically at the camera. The camera is usually an RGB IR camera so that we're immune to sunlight uh, effects. Software encapsulates not only the rule-based features, but also the vision-based algorithms for driver monitoring. Middleware is an important part of the tech stack. And finally, there is compute. So we're designed to run on any number of different platforms. It has to be portable on an ADAS domain controller, a UX domain controller, or sometimes even a body domain controller. Interior sensing uh, is starting to be regulated more and more. In Europe, in 2026, there is a mandate that all vehicles be equipped with the driver monitoring system. This is becoming a mainstream technology. Once the camera is in the car, as long as privacy is maintained, cybersecurity is maintained, it's a very powerful tool for monetization opportunities. The next generation use cases is starting to be more around health and biometrics or it could be about features on demand with gesture recognition or video call. This is typically the progression the OEMs are looking to introduce, both for safety, but also for comfort-based differentiation.